If you were to write a book about the best things not to do on the internet, Dale Leakes, whose attempt to exact revenge on his lover went badly, is the villain of this tale. This man, whose Facebook job description reads, a full-time legend, rose to fame online after choosing to sell Kelly, his girlfriend, at auction. He had no idea that his practical joke would ultimately work in his favor. Dale isn't a full-time legend. He works as a landscaper and is close friends with Kelly Greaves, who heads a heating company. They had been friends for 10 years before they decided to date. Being so close, they were aware of each other's shortcomings, and Greaves was aware that her partner enjoyed playing practical jokes on people. Fortunately, she laughed and found them funny. Describing her relationship with Leaks for CTV News, Kelly Greaves said, I think we have very similar personalities. We're both very fast and smart. It was simply another typical day in Kelly's life. Other ladies, when subjected to these continual practical jokes and pranks, will not handle it well. I think I'm one of the few who manages to get a decent rake. But will the next prank test her limits? If one spouse degraded you in front of others, some relationships would end immediately. But for Leaks and Greaves, it was the very thing that made their bond stronger. We always try to make fun of each other, but in a friendly way, she said. However, I believe that's why we like each other so much. We like to push it to the limit. After Kelly playfully spanked her boyfriend with a whip at a horse shop, Leaks wanted an act of sweet revenge. Dale Leaks planned a nice form of retaliation. Even though the horse store wasn't the worst practical joke, he visited eBay a few hours before they headed out for the evening and did the unthinkable. On the eBay bid page, Kelly was put up for auction. He didn't know what to anticipate. All he wanted to do was elicit a few laughs. Leeks carefully considered what he should put in the headline of his promotional piece. He compared his girlfriend to a used automobile and called her a miniature collector's item due to her constant whining and end drips a bit, but nothing you can't stop. Leeks found this comparison quite hilarious, but he wasn't sure how his fancy would react. He prepared for his dinner and let the auction continue. Leakes could hardly contain his enthusiasm as he prepared for his evening date. He continued looking at his phone while trying to look at her without giggling. Greaves ultimately developed suspicions, and Leakes was forced to confess. Uncertain of how his partner would react, he told her about the scrap car-related ad he had posted about her. Fortunately, Greaves thought the concept was absurd. She repeatedly read the description on his cell phone and found it amusing as the description stated that the item had been kept fairly clean, has signs of wear, Greaves thought this was hilarious and even shared it on Facebook. A true demonstration of her sense of humor and a reminder of her everyday struggles, they frequently check their smartphones on the way to dinner. Most of Greaves' Facebook pals just thought it was humorous and not badly intended. Leakes was delighted that his girlfriend found his prank amusing. Even the comments her friends sent on Facebook made her giggle. After that, they started to check the auction to see how it was doing. There were no offers yet. Greaves initially pretended to be furious that none of her friends had bothered to make an offer for her. Even if it was just for fun, she kind of wanted to cause a sensation at the auction. She realized that this was exactly what he wanted. However, this was about to change. The pair entered their eatery and enjoyed their meals. For a while, they had completely forgotten about the sale. Greaves paid it no further consideration because she didn't believe there would be any proposals outside of her Facebook buddies. However, Leek's cell phone started to ring. Finally, he checked to see what was happening and decided not to inform his girlfriend how many offers had come in. Leek's received numerous messages and offers. Greaves' Facebook post drew the first offers from friends, but soon the situation got out of hand. The bids increased dramatically. Leek's plan became more challenging as an action battle developed. It was just a prank on eBay until he started getting genuine money offers in place of food. Leek's were in danger right now since the post had gone viral online. He later acknowledged thinking, oh no, what have I just done? They had no idea there would be such a large audience. Leek's envisioned what may transpire if the bidding war persisted. Was he going to have to sell his girlfriend? Was it possible that the bidders were just playing around? Nevertheless, the pair decided to try and find the humor in the situation, as they always did. They laughed about it 
as they noticed the steadily growing number of eBay listings. When the couple checked their progress the following morning, they saw that the article had received over 81,000 views, and the highest bid was $119,000. This was most likely the cost of his girlfriend. Bids came from all over the world, including the US, Australia, and Europe. The humorous description or the accompanying photo may have piqued people's interest, but many people expressed an interest in the collectible Dale Leakes, who resides close to Colchester, Essex, had received hundreds of letters from prospective buyers. Many made numerous references and attempted to be as humorous as Leakes. Some requested for close-ups, while others asked if they may take Greaves for a test drive. Fortunately, the couple was still able to find humor in the situation. At one point I got a new message every 30 seconds. I got hundreds of messages, Leakes explained. There were numerous amusing messages from eBay users posting the funniest queries. Can you tell me how many owners has she had? Was one of those queries. And what is her military background? Leakes didn't care though that his girlfriend was being discussed in such a negative light. The two found the humor in it, but eBay did not. After a day, the ad was taken down. The bid, according to the auction site, was against their rules barring the sale of body parts, remains, or human persons. When the sale was finally done, the couple was relieved, but Greaves remained inquisitive. Leek said, Kelly turned to me and asked what price she got and if he had sold her. Leeks pondered the amount of the previous offer for a moment. I won't lie, I would have been sad to have to give you away. But the whole thing wouldn't be that sad if I were sitting in a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Although they say that opposites attract, Kelly and Dale's similarities were what brought them together. While Leek's jokes may have been too much for other ladies, Greaves simply saw them as a humorous tribute to their wonderful friendship. Greaves suggested that she open her own company where others might learn to develop a thick skin. If I had been hurt, our relationship would not have lasted. It would have broken up a long time ago, she claimed. Leeks claimed that his partner wasn't initially excited. However, when she came on board, she started to exhibit progressively greater interest after the auction was a success. Kelly even admitted that he was glad he sold her since the new owner will have a lot more money than he did and would ultimately be able to provide her with a higher standard of living. Leeks declared, I would never sell her and I love her dearly. Even though revenge didn't go as planned, Unfortunately, not everyone found Leek's joke amusing. Many individuals opposed his behavior and advised them to work on their relationship and research human trafficking. Greaves only remarked that some individuals were just too sensitive. Greaves added, that simply wasn't the focus. However, I can appreciate their viewpoint. So avoid Dale if you are easily insulted. Fortunately, Dale discovered the ideal female for him. If she couldn't handle jokes, she couldn't be in the relationship, he told CTV News. This is a pretty normal day for me, I do stuff like this all the time. Despite all the jokes, Greaves describes her husband as a good father to the children she brought from a previous relationship. She and Dale are glad she's no longer for sale on eBay.